Hi everybody, Susan Fleischman here with ZTV Live in our series of interviews that we're doing with the wonderful organizations that are being highlighted this year by Spring to Action 2021. And today I am joined with Helena Beinhacker of Titan Robotics. Helena, hello and welcome to ZTV. Hello, thanks for having me. Sure thing. Um, thank you for um, coming on and um, why don't we start by telling us um, a little bit about uh, Titan Robotics. So Titan Robotics is the robotics program at T.C. Williams High School. Um, we hold, we wear many hats. Uh, we run a high school robotics program where in non-COVID times we would design, manufacture, and like put together a robot that would compete with other schools and um, other teams in the district. Uh, we also sort of help mentor and support a lot of um, younger robotics teams, FLL, FLL Junior, FTC. Those are all acronyms for different um, different like sub uh, robotics teams that they do slightly different work using Legos or like preset pieces. Um, and we also run summer camps over the, um, so yeah, that's our program. Yeah, that's, that's fantastic. Just getting kids involved in building things, creating things, inventing things. Um, I think that's really, uh, that's really great. Um, what, um, I mean, obviously every, every nonprofit faced challenges in 2020, but can you talk a little bit to, to some of the particular uh, challenges that you guys faced in 2020? So in particular, we kind of lost our space that we would normally use in the school. Obviously, we weren't able to go to classes and they, they closed the school building. And so we had like in the very beginning of the year, we were really worried that we weren't going to be able to build anything. We weren't going to be able to get access to our robot. However, we actually were able to kind of solve that issue. We partnered with a local organization. They do sort of called Building Momentum. They do sort of like, uh, I think it would be corporate prototyping and kind of contracting for other people. And they provided us shop space, which was super duper awesome. And so we were able to kind of uh, bring our robot into their shop space and work on it there. Another challenge was that a lot of the younger teams that we kind of mentor, well, elementary schools were also closed and it's much, much harder to get younger children to kind of uh, get on Zoom together to spend time focusing. And so a lot of those teams were unable to sort of start up and move. Yeah, yeah. Not to mention, it's pretty complicated work and instruction. I imagine is so detail oriented. Yeah. It's a lot, uh, much more challenging for a younger kid over Zoom. Um, and you have participated in Spring to Action before, right? Yeah. Okay, yes. great. And then how how has the um, being part of that? How has that helped you address some of these uh, challenges, or just some of the challenges that you guys face on an everyday basis? Never mind in the middle of a pandemic. Um, you know, what impact did the donations make? So what we did with our donations from last year is we we had said we we're going to use a hundred percent of those funds to help uh, the younger teams, the the elementary school teams, middle school teams that we kind of support. So at the beginning of kind of the summer, we created um, what we like to call the Titan Robotics K-8 grant. And we basically made a couple questions and had put out the ask for, does any of the, the mentors of the younger team, do they have any like uh, requests for funds uh, for like materials or registration? Do they want to get like t-shirts or something? Um, and we emailed that out. And we got a couple of responses, although it wasn't as robust as we would like. So most of that money has still been set aside for that explicit purpose. We're, we just wanna have that, those funds available so that when things get back back rolling, we, we can email that uh, the grant out again and we can be like, yes, we have your registration fees, yep. we have your materials fees, you can get right back up and rolling. Terrific. Great. Um, what do you um, want your community, want you know, our community at large, and as well as your donors, what do you want them to know about how they can support you in 2021? Um, well, we're on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter at FRC5587. Uh, on all three of those platforms, you could come check out our social media pages. Um, we are going to be getting our programs up and rolling again. So if you're interested in participating, having 
having your kids come and check it out. That is a great way to support our programs. Um, yeah. That, that, that's fantastic. And, um, and you have a website, right? Is a, what, what's, what's your website address? Um, I think we are frc5587.org. Okay, terrific. Um, the same username all the way through. Okay, <laughs> well that's easy to remember then, and it certainly can apply it on the different on the different uh, social media platforms. Um, speaking of 2021, year that we're in, what are um, what are uh, besides the ones that you've mentioned? Do you have any other goals for 2021 that you guys have kind of on your wish list? Um, well, one of our goals for our uh, FRC team, our high school team, is to kind of continue to participate in the adapted competition season. What happened this year is that instead of doing competitions with so many people packed into a gym, um, they had us take our robots from last year and kind of modify them and work on them and complete skills challenges by and like video a robot shooting a ball or doing a I don't know, doing autonomous code where no one is controlling it and it's only run by pre-programming. Um, and participating in those challenges successfully is a really big goal for us this year. Um, and I think moving on a little bit is having a successful summer camp program. As people get vaccinated, as people are uh, more comfortable going out into the world, participating again, I think that's something that we really want to work for. Yeah, yeah, that's great. I know. I, I, uh, I'm, I think everybody is looking forward to and hoping that this summer is a real a pronounced return to, um, to you know, gathering and doing the things that we really love to do, especially a program like this that benefits so many people. Um, and um, Helena, here's our last question, and I want you to um, fill in the blank for me. Repeat after me. I spring to action because... I spring to action because I really love the program that I'm in and I really love the people that I'm around doing it. And I want that to exist for as long as I can, for as long as it can, for as many people possible. Perfect. Absolutely great. Good luck to you, Helena. Thank you so much for spending time with us today. And um, we will uh, wish you all the best for spring to action 2021. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Good thing. Anytime.